Hello people, Groove again. I uh, just made this short little video here for you to show you the uh, latest improvements to uh, both uh, Brotherhood of Steel and the Railroad Player Homes in Good Neighbor. Uh, as well as you'll get to see uh, the new headgear combo here on Kate. I have both of the uh, mods uh, running at this time. As you notice, uh, the lag is uh, severely, severely been cut down. Yeah, I wasted a, a lot of hours watching a lot of different videos of people claiming to be able to show how to do it. I ended up uh, remembering that in Dunswich uh, Boars, uh, there's the circuit breaker down that turns on the lights in the mine. All I did was went down into the mine and basically copied every piece that was needed to make that work uh, into a pack-in and then I brought it back to these uh, these two player home mods and then all I did was I, I copied the lights some of the lights uh, I, I only did one of each type of light that was connected to the uh, enable marker uh, but I ended up not needing those uh, to do it I, I just as soon as I dropped the pack in in place I was able to link all all the lights I already had in place to the marker the enabler marker and you know, it was a lot simpler than I was thinking I was thinking I might have to duplicate the lights that's why I copied one of each type of light down in the mine thinking that if I had to duplicate then I'm gonna make a uh, little any, any modders watching this that are having troubles getting light switches to work I'm gonna create a uh, uh, a little mod uh, that'll be basically just the pack in or you just you know load it up with your uh, mod that you're working on and uh, you'll be able to you know not not have the make yours active but have the other one just as a plug-in and you'd be able to take the packet and uh, drop it right into your your settlement or your player home or wherever you need a light switch and not have to worry about scripting and anything like that because that was really where it, I was getting screwed up with all the others and you know I spent all that time and the entire time I was thinking well what if none of this works on PlayStation I mean if it doesn't work on PlayStation then it's all for naught so but then I remember the Dunswich and yeah, it's going to be real helpful. Wish I would have thought of done which uh, freaking five days ago. <laughs> Now the candles, uh, all the lanterns uh, on this floor and the third floor are all connected to that switch. And with them both shut off, he's, there's still a slight bit of frame rate issue. Uh, either that or my, my old ass eyes are getting old. Uh, not no nowhere near as bad as it was with both of them enabled, and, but there is a lot of stuff. And, you know, I made some changes in my future plans. Uh, the Minuteman uh, 
player homes probably going to be down in third the third rail and the institute player home I'm gonna go ahead and build that where I was going to build it because most of that one was going to be in an internal cell anyway so it was just going to have a window that faced out where when you went into it and you would be able to have a window you could look out of and that's the end of the video uh, thanks for watching you guys have a good day later